And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the BDO beat. And look who we've been joined by no other than the main man himself, Mr. Bobby George. How you doing, Bobby? Still here. Are you still, still there? Up there at George Hall's, I by the looks. Yeah, I'm at George Hall. That's it, mate. Lovely. Yeah. It's the, I, I hear Scott Mitchell, he took part in the, in the fishing tournament a couple of weeks ago, and I heard a little rumour he'd been practising with yourself, was it? Was it Scott or was it Rod Harrington? No, it was uh, Steve Davis. Steve Davis. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Did you give him any tips, Bobby? Well, he he, he never actually fished before, and he came here and he um and he fished for a day. Yeah. And uh, apparently he done pretty well. I think he come about fourth in the tournament. So he, he did. Fish, I had... For a guy that doesn't fish, he done pretty well. Yeah, I had twenty pounds on him at sixteen to one, and I think he was just one yeah one away from landing the prize. So. Uh... You had a what? Twenty what? Twenty pound at sixteen to one because they're raising money for the Haven House Children's Hospice, the charity. So what? There's a little bit of betting. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, uh, Bobby, uh, the World Championship is near. We just put live a couple of days ago your cracking final in 1980 against Eric Bristow. If you don't mind me mentioning, is that as good an atmosphere as you've ever played in the Eric Bristow Bobby George thing? Well, that was the first time anyone ever done that. Yeah. Um, before that, it was sort of like playing in the doctors, basically. <laughs> but it was, it, we changed the game, really, because Eric Bristow, Bobby George, Eric Bristow, Bobby George, the crowd got more involved. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, that was, that was, that was fantastic, wasn't it? Of course, you played in the final a few years later, but... Am I right in thinking that in, in that quarter final you, you all just like broke your back and you were struggling to stand in the semi final? Is that correct? Uh, that that was in ninety four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I broke me back in um I, I played um Kevin Kenny. Yes. And uh, uh just before the end of the match I jumped up, you know, gave it all the big and night and broke me back. Yeah, yeah. But that's just because I've working in the tunnels for years and mm. My back was obviously weak, mm. and it had to go when I didn't want it to go. No. But there you are, you Did know. You, you managed to get through in the semi final. Was that Magnus Carris, wasn't it? You was a few sets down and a few legs down. Well, I was 4 2 down, and um, he missed 141. He went treble 20, treble 15, just clipped the wire on double 18. Yeah. And then I won every leg, but I just got over the power barrier. Yeah. But. Um, they made me a corset. I had a corset on, so, uh, you know, it, it helped me back. But yeah. that's one of them things, you know. Yeah, but you, at least you appeared... And the final was the next day. That I didn't have a break, you see. No, no. And I had to go on and, you know, I played all right against Bailey. Uh, I had uh, a shot before him, yeah. basically every leg, but I couldn't move my body to go for double 16s or double 10s. If I went back, and uh, I could change time. I'll probably go for double top all the time. Yeah. Because I was scoring well, yeah. but I couldn't move my body. But anyway, I saved darts that day. Yeah, that's it. And of course, the World Championship is is nearly with us. Um, Glenn Duran, he seems to be collecting most things at the moment. Can, can you, do you think he's, he's going to be tough well, to beat? Well, Duran, he, he's number one, obviously, mm. in the BDO. Um, but he's playing a tough. He's playing uh, Dean Reynolds yeah, from tough. Wales. Good player. So he's got a tough match on. Yeah. You know, you still got to beat everyone that's in front of you to become world champion. Of course. And some players do it on the circuit, but when it comes to when he should do it, he doesn't do it. Yeah. So um, you, you never know. You know, uh, obviously there's Martin Adams old timer. He's still going. Uh, there's uh, uh, one. Scotty, Scotty Mitchell, world yeah. champion, but been busy on the circuit. Yeah. And then you've got Scott Waits. He's, no one's mentioned Scott Waits because he had an operation on his arm. Yeah. And um, they've, he's gone quiet, but he's a dangerous player. A very, very good player. Very, very dangerous. I think um, Scotty Waits got to the spot. And Gert de Vos, Gert de Vos from uh, Belgium, he's playing well as well. He's a, he's a good outside bet. Yeah, he had a fantastic... He had a, Wayne Mardell said exactly the same thing because he had a fantastic average in the Grand Slam of Darts, didn't he? The, the, his last match, he was a ridiculous performance, but it's great to see. He had, uh, he had 113.68 per dart. Yeah. But that's only five legs. He won yeah. five legs, so yeah. uh, it's like, more or less, not quite two sets. But if yeah. he kept that up, obviously he'll win it. Yeah. 
And and uh, we'll have the joys of we'll be seeing you. Um, you'll be uh, doing your usual coverage up there at um, at the venue. Yeah, I'll be telling all the liars. All, I'll be telling liars. You know. <laughs> Brilliant. You said about Scott Mitchell, I think he got to the final of the, is it the um, Sun Parks Masters, L- lost to a gentleman called Jordi, Jordi Muist, have you ever heard of this gentleman, he lost 3-0 in the final at the weekend? No, never heard of him. Yeah. But I, I tell you what, I'm looking here, Bobby. And I, Sorry? Yeah, I'm looking at the, the, the ladies here, uh, um, Anastasia in the, in the weekend got beat by Eileen, and Eileen also won the Czech Open. She is playing fantastic. She won the Masters, isn't she? And she's um, she's just she's not far from second in the world now. She's playing lovely darts. The thing is, when when you go to Lakeside, it's 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 different format for the yeah. ladies as well. Yeah, um, you got all the cameras, you got the crowd, you got the occasion. Yeah. So you have to learn to do it under that pressure. Yeah, yeah, and and as yeah, well- Alan Fraser done it for a few years. Yeah, but um, you, you get some people. With, with Lakeside, you don't know, really. No. There's so many people in the world that are playing off to get there. You get a new name and you don't know how they're going to perform. No. So big, big crowds, but no bigger than when you won the News of the World those couple of years. That that was a, that was a tournament, wasn't it? <laughs> well, that was a, that's quite a tough tournament, News of the World. Yeah. It was in the AGB. Um, that's their World Championship. Then. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah. I mean, it started in 1928, yeah. and it went on for about 60 years. But it was best of three, 501 from eight foot on a wooden board. That's tough, isn't with it? One light, with one light swinging across the front of the dial board. <laughs> so these players don't know they're born now when they're, the old dodgy bounce out. They don't know they're born, do they? At the sort of... They don't. They're spoiled. They're babies now. <laughs> they're all babies. In the news of the world, best of three, you go have a nappy on when you play that game. <laughs> Well, uh, because you think you think of the modern player could never do it, would never there wouldn't be there wouldn't be the names at the top now. No, if they went back to best of three five or one. No, tough. That's right. A couple of dodgy well, darts. You're dangerous. right. Yeah, you're right. Well, it's just to take ten months to qualify. Yeah. for it. Yeah, just before well, you get... it's a different game now. The yeah. darts has changed completely. Yeah, you know, the dart ball's nice. The MCs are better. Mm. All the children, all the computers, the averages are up there for them. Yeah. You know, it's all colourful. You got the buzz. You got the audience taking part more. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a it's better for the game, I think. Guys. Yeah, and and of course, um, you're still playing. I've had the joys of working with you on on the exhibition circuit, Bobby. Still playing at some 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 lovely darts. I may if, may I say. Oh, well, you're very kind, Paul. <laughs> No, only because I might have to work with you. You said that. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's true. That's true. We have got some dates and buttons coming up. Well, I tell you what, Bobby. I know you. I know you're a very busy man. Uh, if you don't mind, we'll be coming up to the World Championship up there at Frimley Green. And um, if you don't mind us, uh, if we can catching up again and having a few, few more, a bit more, a bit more uh, of the in-depth side of Bobby George, if that's okay. All right, mate. All right. Be lucky. May the dance be with you. Thank you very much, Bobby. Thanks for your time. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye.